Hello my fellow miners, prospectors, and rock hounders. Welcome back to another video from the Crater Diamond State Park. This is going to be more of a learning video. We're going to study the different types of gravel, walk around the field, and just look for gravel that's been concentrated, piled up in areas. We're going to work the low spots, let you all have an idea of what the gravel can look like and just we're gonna do stuff like that in this video just try to find gravel worth digging that can very well contain diamonds i hope you all enjoy it if you'd like to see more videos like this be sure and drop a thumbs up i'd appreciate it all right let's get started we'll be set up at the south wash so to get material from the south wash which is which is right there we could go to the east drain or we can go to the west drain. I have never found a diamond on the west drain. So I think I'm gonna head over to the west drain and get some material and prove to myself I can find a diamond over there. Does that sound good? All right, let's do it. All right, I am ready to go dig for diamonds. Canopy set up. I'm gonna be digging right there where my shovel is and where I've already started. There's been some people down here, there's been some other miners down here digging. If you remember, we've already seen that water bottle. So somebody dug that water bottle up out of this hole right here. So somebody's been digging right there. They didn't get much because I don't leave much behind. Okay, so pretty much everywhere I stab my shovel, all the way down the strip, I feel gravel. So it's time to start piercing into this. Look at it. Big rocks. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. All I can do is put in my bucket and see what we get. A lot of big rocks, but there's some small rocks. Okay, we jumped around looking for some gravel and I may have found a better spot over here. I'm gonna work on getting this area right in here. It's about two feet, two and a half feet down. So that's what I'll be doing for the next two, three hours. I'll catch back with everybody later on.
all right been going at it pretty hard found a small gravel layer that i've been chasing right in here starting to thin out almost to the hard pan which is pretty cool scrape on that a little bit but getting my buckets filled too much just gonna be doing half buckets for a while that's where i'm at You can see down in here, there's a little bit of gravel. There's some lots of gravel up in there. Okay, I've worked my way over towards the north. And I've come across some metal. Let's see what this chunk of metal could be. Oh, look at that big chunk of like a big nail. And that's a good indicator because metal is probably heavier than a lot of these rocks. It may just have a lot of heavy minerals near it. And I do recall in my video where I found my 12 point, there was a bunch of metal in that material. Looking pretty good. Cool. Let me get that on video. Yeah, lots of mic over here. This stuff I noticed. Yeah. Yeah, you use a bag. Uh -huh. We started oil field, we drilling the area, and tons of gold was coming over the shakers. So I started bagging up in simple bags while catching the sample. Yeah. Mud loggers. And boy, I thought I'd hit it rich, I wouldn't tell nobody. Every so often we get enough thousand feet or five hundred feet down above. Quick as hell. There you go. <clears throat> okay. Here's a here's a big jasper, so you, I'm gonna wanna put that whole thing in my bucket all kinds of material stuck to it it's a good sign Yep, sir. Oh, I did a lot of motocross and okay I've had my safety meeting got a nice dry shirt on took my boots off had something to eat I feel great it's time to get back in the hole get some more of this gravel start hauling buckets all the way over to my cage And for those of you who don't know, this is really considered the artifact side of the Crater Diamonds. There's lots of old artifacts from the old mining companies. Some of you may not know this, but over here is the artifact side. This is where a lot of the early mining companies were set up. And look what I just dug up. Big chunk of metal. That is crazy this could have been used to mine for diamonds back in the day to see all the rust so that's a good indicator might have some heavy minerals as well yeah. 
working on getting buckets hauled. Man, this stuff is awesome. That's the hard pan. Lots of small gravel in this stuff. three buckets filled up and this gravel is very different some brown like all this brown it I thought it was gonna be rust and it could be rust whole bunch of metal it could be a lot of metal nails it could have been a pile of nails down here caused all this rust but it's almost like the soil is a brown yeah no red jaspers. I did come across this huge chunk of jasper. It is right there, packed in there. So I want to keep it just like this and put it in my bucket. There could be diamonds stuck to that inside this clay. If there's gravel in it, there could be diamonds in it, even in the clay. Yeah, get a few more buckets out. Not too impressed with the gravel. Oh man, this is awesome. You definitely want a fan. Woo, that's nice. Oh man. Oh, this feels so good. green we've got green look at all that green that's always a good indicator a little bit of tough like the volcanic tough but clay definitely baby poop I hit a pocket of baby poop Yep, sounded like gravel. And below the gravel we have more gravel.
we get agate? Will we get any agate? That's what I want to see, some agate. Some clean, pretty agate. Caught me on my safety meeting. All right, I did some probing. Let's do some probing and see if the gravel is gonna keep going down. Nope, that's it. Hard pan. So there's still gravel up along this bench. I can kind of work on undercutting that. But yeah, it's pretty well cleaned out. Get a few more buckets and this hole's done. There's, this isn't a 30 bucket hole, a 20 bucket hole. I'm gonna get, I've got two, four, six, eight. I might get 10 buckets out of this and it's, that's all. Working on getting the last two buckets filled up. That'll make 20 total. That's a good number. It thinned out over here. I was thinking just eight, 10 buckets was it, but I came over here and been chasing a gravel vein ever since. 
It's been about an hour and a half now. It's time to get these last two. I got one filled up. Get this last one filled up. Start hauling my buckets to my cage. I won't have enough time in the day to uh, go wash them. And not only that, I'm hungry. It's time to go to Nashville, Fisherman Cove, and get some gator, catfish, hush puppies, beans, cornbread, corn, and some sweet tea. But I actually found a vein that's going straight down, so I've been working on that. Dang, it's still going. Wow. I'll just put all that in my bucket. Red Jasper. Starting to see Red Jasper again. Yep. Another dad's a diamond mine. Having fun. Enjoying my life. This is what I like to do is dig. Not what I like to do, it's what I do. And I hate when people interfere in my work. Man, that's going straight down. Ooh, red jasper. Man, this stuff I just hit is awesome. I'm gonna have to go get a couple buckets. <laughs> Straight down. That bucket's empty. Put some over here in this one. That's 20 buckets. Okay, that's 20 buckets. Oh man, it's going down. It's going straight down. I had a tarp. I could start putting material on the tarp. Here we go. right here for now I don't have any buckets with me that'll work go up to my cage just walking up to my cage and back if I meet somebody and they want their picture taken it's gonna be 10 minutes time I get back down here <laughs> so and don't hesitate to come up to me and say hi or if you want your picture taken. I got time for that. Always got time for my supporters. Orange Jasper, red Jasper, this vein. Glad I kept going. Glad I didn't give up. I mean, I never do. But... Get a couple buckets out. Just going straight down. Whoo! Heck yeah. A couple more buckets. Got about 15 more in my cage. Said it takes 10 minutes maybe. <laughs> and if I run up there, I'll run back here and have to stop and rest because I'll be more out. So that'll work for now. Put it on that. Ooh, man. Look at that one. Golly, yeah. Definitely hit some red jasper. Whew, nice. Not seeing a lot of small gravel. That kind of scares me. A lot of bigger stuff. Hopefully when I wash it, some of that small stuff is just packed in with the clay. You know, there's so much clay in here. There's small stuff. I can fill it with my probe. I just can't see it.
then. A warning I will probably splash once I start washing so okay don't want to get too close I to me. I appreciate it. <laughs> you get, down a little bit. Give yeah, that yeah. man some room. <laughs> you get wet. Oh, I, didn't, I don't think they would object but oh, you don't want that stuff in your eye trust me. Oh I bet. <laughs> Sometimes that's where it goes. It's like man I used to wear safety glasses and still get in my eye like I just quit wearing safety glasses and still gonna get in there. Right. Ooh, okay. Oh, I just gotta wash hard to get it to move. And, yeah. I'm not getting. I'm not getting anywhere. Well, there's just, a lot of mud. Yeah.
YouTube channel, so I'm out here just showing how I find diamonds, and cool. now I just try to make videos me finding diamonds. And I've got some how-to stuff, you know, and or at least that kind of explains. Oh, that's pretty cool. But yeah, that kind of keeps me out here more often. Versus like when I used to just come out here, I had to work, you know. Right. Come out here on my, my vacation was out here working, right. <laughs> mining. So, yeah. But yeah, now I get to kind of. Just, Make videos and dig in the dirt. Hey. Hoping to get there. I'm still working at it. Almost two years. Uh, August will be two years with my channel. And oh, very cool. Almost up to 20,000 subscribers. Or I'm at 20,000. How do we look you up? Oh, you just uh, you can go on YouTube and just type in like Diamond Miner Ivans. That's my channel. Where you type in the Crater of Diamonds and you, my videos should pop up. Cool. If you probably see me from the thumbnail. Yeah, it's been fun. I'm out of Texas. Yeah, yeah, we're from Texas as well. Okay, cool. I'm north, I'm north central. We're actually, we're actually uh, right between Houston and uh, Dallas, like right in the middle. Okay. So a little small town. Yep. Yeah, yeah I grew up in a town of 900 people. Thank you. Okay. And yeah, we're from uh, Centerville. Okay. Yeah, over here. Oh yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yes, yeah, sir. well, a lot of us Texans come up here to today. Take the diamonds. That's right. A lot of the 16 carat or whatever that shovel. If you read these shovels out there, they'll tell you a little, you know, what diamond. You know, there's like a 16 carat. A guy from Texas found it at the shovel by that North Wash. Oh, is that what it was? This okay. is the South Wash. That now the. I don't know if that's the Amarillo, I guess he named it the Amarillo something, you know, but it was from, I guess, Amarillo. Hmm? I think it was Amarillo Starlight. Starlight, yeah, and uh, like a 16 character. Some people picked it up that day, what the story is, and they were saying how they were talking about that big piece of glass, you know, and they took it back down, or they thought it was a big chunk of glass. And right. James heard them describe it, like, oh, that sure was smooth and round, and James Arkin is actually, there's probably a diamond they threw down. Right. Well, he's up there looking for it all morning and he never could. Some guy sits down on a rock from Texas and sees it shining. <laughs> picks it up, 16 cat. Yeah. <laughs> you know, James was a regular. He was a local from Nashville. And, so he was always here and could right. tune in and hear stuff. And he, he found over like 7,000 diamonds. Or, wow. That's incredible. Put, put like four or five kids through college. And, Built his wife a new home. And he always drove a wore out old truck. Yeah, very <laughs> hard when Harley would run. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I stayed close. Yeah, I stayed kind of cool there. Oh yeah, good luck with that. Appreciate it. It was trip. Yep, thanks. On this classifier, we got here's the top classifier. I've seen lots of large pieces of quartz popping up. Nice 
electron support. Still not seeing the agate, I like to see, but maybe it'll pop up here soon. come out of that hole lots of hematite magnetite and spinel so we should be seeing a diamond time to head to the house and get some centers made got one more flip to go these centers turned out pretty good for just a few buckets of material from the south trench three feet down This gravel is just loaded with heavies. Check it. Check that out. Okay, here's the first flip. And as you can see, there's just so many heavy minerals. So this gravel is looking really good. It could produce a diamond for sure. You have centers like these. It's just a matter of time, you will get a diamond. Yes, it has lots of calcite, but over here I see some barite, the bluish rock, which are heavier than this calcite right here. And like that stuff. Yeah, lots of quartz. Got the black spinel. That's what we really want to see is that black spinel. So yeah, these heavies, these centers are just loaded. Hey, get out of here. God damn it. Shh, yo. Fuck. 
All right, here's the third center. Unbelievable. 12 buckets. Here's the fourth center. And here's the fourth center. Let me know if you see a diamond in the comment. Leave me a comment if you think you see a diamond. Here is the fifth and final center. And when you travel for five hours like I do, the best material is normally in the bottom of the bucket from the ride home. Let me know if you see a diamond. Leave me a comment if you think you can see a diamond in this stuff. Let me know if you... Uh, Leave me a comment below if you see a diamond. But there's some really good indicators in here. Check out all those heavy minerals. Man, that is just crazy. Check out all those heavy minerals. wild all right here's the reflip I took all the centers and made one more and that's the reflip we'll scan over this real quick and take everything inside I'll go through everything on the tray if I don't see a diamond on the center Looks like we won't see one in the video, but if I find a diamond on the tray, you can always go to my... Oh my gosh, that might be a diamond right there. I'll have to check it out. Be a small one. But that's some good centers not to have a diamond. That one right there, right there, but I just don't, it's just not, it's not a diamond. Sticking to that rock, but those small diamonds will stick to other rocks, your finger. So you got to be careful, it'll stick to the end of this. You know your tweezers or whatever you're using it could and you could lose it so be careful of your small diamond sticking and we now have the reflip of the reflip and you could probably reflip this reflip and reflip those reflips and keep getting material but sooner or later the heavies will thin out so you can only reflip so many times
Crater Diamond should do is all these tailing piles, instead of just letting it run back into the field, they should scoop all this up with their front end loader and go spread it along that path where it's not so muddy. Because if you notice, my wagon has no mud on the wheels because I'm rolling on pretty much gravel. 90% gravel, the rest mud. Up there it's the opposite, 90% mud, 10% gravel. 